Hi everybody, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, I made this card using the stamp set Floral Essence and I used this image, the larger of the two bold flowers, uh, this image, the centerpiece, and the leaf. And the sentiment, all days are blessed that begin with you. So, I am changing the colours on here. I use the Sea Soft Sea Spray or Sea Spray F Soft Sea Spray, I think it's called. Can't remember. New colour. I'm going to use a different new colour. And this is Terracotta Tile. And you'll need a piece of um, designer series paper of three and three and five eighths by three and three quarters. Three and five eighths by three and three quarters. Have a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth and folded in half. Have a piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the front. And I have a piece of can't stop at two and three quarters by four and one quarter and then I have another piece at two inches by four inches just for decoration really and that will sit on over the top of the DSP I've also used some linen thread mine's on a reel it's quite thick you also need some scraps for the flowers and the leaves. Now this is three flowers together. I have cut out, stamped and cut out two. So we've got to do another one. And we've got to stamp and punch out the leaves. This I design I got from Pinterest. And it's stamping so Sophisticated, I think that's what it says from Pinterest. So let's get started. Move them out the way. Uh, that's for our leaves and that's for our flower. Let's do our flower first. This is actually the first time I've used this ink colour on this card. Right. That stamp's going to have to go in the bleach. It's gone a bit pink. And that's all we're using that for. Oh no, we're using that for the sentiment. So let's stamp that. We'll stamp it on the smallest of our two pieces. We're going to stamp up here and guess what I never got out? The sentiment. So. And we're going to stamp that just there. Nice. Now we can get rid of this one and bring in Smoky Slate and stamp our three flowers, leaves sorry, this isn't Smoky Slate is it? It's a bit dark for smoky slate. What we also want to do with this is put in our 
flower centre. Like that. I didn't do it on these two because they'd be covered up. Right. This is granite grey, not smoky slate. Doesn't matter. Obviously, picked up the wrong one. Don't need that no more. Scissors. And now we're going to cut out this flower. here today. I don't believe it's supposed to be summer. August. <laughs> Mind you, when you see this, it depends when I upload it because I have got a lot uploaded at the moment. Um, could be September. I'm trying to get ahead of myself so that I can do a project I want to do. Right. Get rid of that. And now we can put this card together. Another quick and easy card. Right, let's glue this down. For those of you who don't mind going straight on your card base, you don't need to do this bit. Just that I like one on my card base. Right, I'm going to wrap some of that linen thread around the paper. So I'm laying some double sided tape down to stick the linen, linen thread to so I can wrap it properly and it don't move. in the bin. Right. So I am wrapping this round twice. And then we're going to stick that down there. That 
So it's a glue, glue, glue on the um, twine, help hold it in place. Right, this. Now this one will go on here. Even a nice border. And that needs dimensionals. One in each corner and two in the middle. Take the back ends off. And one of them went on the floor. Right, I'm placing that to the left. Even a little bit of the designer paper showing. And put them away. Don't need them. Now our flower. The two I did before, we're going to glue them together, but not until we just curl up the outer edge, not the edge where, not that edge, like that, just gently curl them round and then we glue them together. So a bit of glue on there and place it on top. Now this one, the one where we did the centre, we want to go around it all and just flick up the edges and we're going to place that that way and just glue it in the middle. In fact, I've glued that. Have I glued that too much? Oh no. I thought we glued it too much. Just a spot of glue in the middle and place it down. And that's going to sit just there, which we will glue down. And then we just add some leaves. One to the top. to the side and one to the bottom like that right, to make a bow I just chopped off a bit of this twine Folded it in half because we want a double bow. Cut that again and tied a bow. So make a loop, wrap it around the outside so that's under and over, 
and pull the loop through. Hold the knot and tidy up your bow. Don't want it too big. That's good. Cut off the ends and that is going to sit there. So we'll get a glue dot on that. No, we won't we'll use glue. It's one thing with this glue, it's quite good for holding down string and ribbon. And then we need some gems. One there, one down here, and one over there. And that is it. That is our um, floral essence card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Um, just quickly, this case was this card was case from Pinterest, and oh, I said that didn't I? Sophisticated, yeah, stamping, right. Yeah, so all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.